Hello IFHS, this is Bri Hoverstein and Riley McKibben and you're watching the first episode of Cadet TV. Cadet TV is a digital news broadcast brought to you by our broadcast journalism class here at the high school. And our main goal here at Cadet TV is to keep the communities of Iowa Falls and Alden informed about everything cadet related. The annual tradition of homecoming has been celebrated for many years in the U.S. and this is no different for our school. Last week at IFHS, students and staff participated in many activities some of them being football, class Olympics, and even marching in a parade. Here's Blake Jansen and Sarah Cortez with more about the class Olympics and their outcomes. Thanks, Riley. I'm Sarah Cortez. I'm Blake Jansen. Last Wednesday, Owl Falls Alden High School celebrated homecoming with a school-wide contest. Four different grades competed against each other to see who would take home the crown of class Olympics champion. Many games were played, and for each game, points were won, including one of the most intense ones being powder puff football. The first game up was the freshmen versus the sophomores. The freshmen and sophomores went into overtime. The freshmen scored first, and sophomores had one play to get into the end zone. The freshmen moved on and moved to play the winner of the juniors and seniors. Tensions ran high among the juniors and seniors as the game started. The juniors cheered loudly as they won 18-6. The, champion, the championship game was set. The freshmen versus the juniors. It was a back and forth game, both scoring away. The freshmen went wild as Molly Tamash pulled Marley Lancaster's flag to seal the win. The second most intense game was He-Man Volleyball. The matchups were the same. The freshmen took on the sophomores and the juniors took on the seniors. They were some tough games played on each side of the gym. The sophomores ran away with a two set to zero victory and the seniors came back to win two to one. In the championship game, tensions ran high once again as the seniors defeated the sophomores. Some honorable mentions within the class Olympics was charades, tug of war, and scavenger hunt musical chairs. At the end of the class Olympics, the seniors won tug of war to secure the title of class Olympics champion for the second time in the row. So we in this gym, so this is for the last round, so one of you guys is going to get it. Somewhere in the gym, we have hidden an object, I'll tell you what it is in a second, okay? They can search, it, it's not outside the gym, it's in the gym, okay? And it's not super hard to get to, like you're not going to have to open any doors or anything. But whichever one of them finds it first and gets it back here gets it. You cannot rip it out of anyone's hands though, okay? So, what you are looking for hidden around the gym is a paper cadet head. Go. This was Blake Jansen and Sarah Cortez with the Homecoming Class Olympics. Back to you, Riley and Breyer. The Homecoming Parade made its rounds around Iowa Falls during the evening of October 3rd. The marching band, football, volleyball, and dance teams were some of the organizations involved in the parade. Later that night, coronation took place at Estes Park, where the homecoming king and queen were announced. With more on that, here's Jaden Bartlett and Kaylin Reimer. My name is Jaden Bartlett. My name is Kaylin Reimer. Today, we will be covering the homecoming parade and coronation ceremony that took place at Estes Park last Thursday. The evening began with the homecoming parade, which featured floats from businesses around town, cars with the homecoming candidates, class floats, and of course, the band. started on Cedar Street this year and progressed down Main Street. 
The parade ended right by Estes Park where all the festivities took place. As the coronation ceremony started, the MCs, myself, and Jaden began the evening with a welcome to all the attendees. The homecoming court was introduced, consisting of Logan Aldinger, Riley Burke, McCade Eisentrigger, Caden Menser, Brody Steinfeld, and Kyler Hadwiger for King candidates, and Addie Bickneys, Emma Harding, Abby Redmond, Hayden Miller, McKenna Meyer, and Chloe Fagerland for Queen candidates. The night continued with performances by the high school drill team and cheerleaders, and sports updates from the coaches. When it came time for the coordination, the court stood and awaited the announcement. Good luck to all the candidates. Your 2019 Iowa Falls Alden Homecoming King is Caden Menser. for the entire homecoming court. You guys, Aylin and I announced that the 2019 IFA homecoming king and queen were Caden Menser and Hayden Miller. There was lots of applause and support. The audience and the court were thankful for their attendance and the night closed out with the IFA school song. After this, the high school kids went to a huge bonfire at the high school which proved to be a ton of fun. Homecoming parade and coronation ceremony this year were very successful, and we look forward to doing it again next year. Thank you. I'm Jane Bartlett. I'm Kaylin Reimer. And this is Cadet TV. A solid 3-2 and two start this season. The Cadet football team was hungry for a swift and dominant victory over the New Hampton Chickasaws, and those expectations became a reality last Friday night. Hi, I'm Alexis Hill. And I'm Ashley Newton. And this is your afternoon update of the homecoming football game. With a record of 3-2, the Isle Falls Alden football boys add another win with a new record of 4-2. Pat Norm had tweeted, at IFA football, put in a good night's work Friday, held New Hampton to under 100 yards rushing, offensively 17 play 92 yard drive for a touchdown, 16 play 70 yard drive to end half, 12 play 65 yard drive for a touchdown to start the second half. The O-line and the D-line were def definitely hashtag uncommon. The IFA HS marching band decided it was time for a dance party at halftime, so they decided to make the fans dance. The high school and middle school cheer dance teams and cheerleaders danced along with the band. The band played the Cupid Shuffle, the Chicken Dance, and YMCA.
also said that Carson Shire had one of his better games with 33 carries, 244 yards, 7.4 average, 3 rushing touchdowns, and a punt return for a touchdown. Kyler Hadwiger also finished with 94 rushing yards and a touchdown on 10 carries. With many comments from fans and coaches about how hard the offense and defense worked, it definitely paid off well. Overall, it was a fun homecoming filled with fun games and victory. We hope that you enjoy homecoming as much as we did. This has been Briar Hoverstein and Riley McKibben. And we thank you for tuning into the first episode of Cadet TV. Thanks for watching.